welcome 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 ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for opening this video i'm claudia real estate agent in jamaica if you want to sell or buy or build real estate hit the subscribe button and remember the notification bell
finding a loan facility that will have little to no interest rate. And as I said before, NHD was primarily the, the, the only financial institution that was giving you a below 10% interest rate at the time. At the time. And who would even give you a loan? And who would even consider giving you a loan? Yeah, because what was your job at the time? Um, I was a draftsman at a land surveying office. Okay. Did they yeah. pay your NHD no. or you had to pay? No. So what I did when I when I read about that, I inquired about, you know, how to, how to, to become qualified. Okay, how to, how to contribute, how to get qualified, qualified and you know what you must earn and stuff. Yeah. And then how to sign up, basically. Right. And then primarily, it, I did a declaration, mm -hmm. a self-declaration. I think there's a form that you have a JP to sign, fill out and Yes, sign. at the time. At the yes, time, I remember right? that form. Yeah. You complete it and the JP says, yes, this is what you're earning. Right, right. Yes, I have to that was like a proof of earning. Right. Yeah. For how much you're yeah. earning. Yeah. And then you would have been taking it there and then put you on the system. And you pay it's like thousand all the time it was like fifteen hundred dollars a month. A month. You know, you pay that for twelve months and then you're now qualified to to apply for a loan. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and then we start looking after that, found a property to put. We applied and we got through. Who is we? Well, me is just that I'm a, I'm a Hard man's and where we tend to. <laughs> <laughs> so you were you were married in um, 2010. Was it 2020? About the property. 2004. 2004. No, but that was. So you were engaged, engaged yeah. and you were 40. Yeah. Uh, dating, let's say. Yeah. So engaged. even as a young man, you realize that this is something based on the the readings and the teachings of Rich Dad Poor Dad Robert Kiyosaki. That you, oops, what a, you know, these buttons here, so that you could have used some information from that book, right? Pick out something out of it. And what was the key? What was the term you used? It said, How to use zero dollars to invest. How to use zero dollars to invest. Well, zero or little or no money right. to invest. Words, cheap money. Cheap money. So you have to find cheap money. To invest, but they may you'd be surprised how many persons have not taken their NHD loans. They're qualified and they have not taken the loan. I know one person even said to me, I can't go to an NHD, take too long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> take too long. I was like, take too long. <laughs> oh, and how long? That's 20. Is it 2004? Yeah. Somebody do the max. How many years that is now? 2004, 16 years. 16 years. So you're in your 30s now. Yeah. And you would have gotten that somewhere early 20s. Yeah. 18, 19, 20. Everybody can do it. But persons don't listen. They don't right? Focus. They don't focus. You get out of school, you have a little job. The first thing you want to do is go buy a car. Yeah? Or you want to go floss, you go party every night. I see. Buy the house first. Then go floss. Then go floss. When you buy the house first, you can't do all the flossing when you want after that. Because you would have already gotten the major thing that you need to get out of the way first. Not even... I I would even run down a university degree. No. That can come after. Yeah. I would just take my little NHT. Negril Hills Golf Club. Welcome to the grill. We're in the grill. Hey man, I hope you know where you're going. Where is this land? Next left turn. Next left turn. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to register with the National Housing Trust. If you don't know how to do that, you live in Jamaica or you live overseas, overseas persons can actually sign up voluntarily. They will wait two years to be qualified. If you live in Jamaica locally, you only wait one year to be qualified. I know those of you who are self-employed will struggle to, to do this, to sign up. Because what is happening now is that you have to sign up on the Jamaica Tax Portal. What's the website, Tonya? Uh, JamaicaTax.gov.jm You heard of here? Oh, Jam is it one here? What's it called? Jamaica? JamaicaTax.gov.jm 
and I just told, told you to run it on the screen but those of you who are a little bit computer savvy you can go on that website what do you do first uh, first you create a login create a login first then what then once you create a login then you go on log back in and you register for tax Register for tax. I ask for your address, NIS, those other things. Right? And you have to tell them how much you earn. You have to tell them how much you earn. Right. And then it's calculating on that. No, after you, this is where it gets a little tricky. After it does that, about two days, it sends you an email mm -hmm. so that you're now on the system, you've been approved. And then you have to go back in and um, activate it basically. Oh. And then a few days after that, it tells you how much you owe. Oh, Wait, so they put you know how much you earn, and then after that, they tell you how much. Right. But we have an idea. Like for self-employed persons, you will pay three percent for your national housing trust. So if you're earning a hundred thousand a month, you're going to pay three percent of a hundred thousand per month. Which, if my maths is correct, I think that's three thousand dollars, right, guys? So you pay three thousand dollars for. National housing trust per month. If you're earning a hundred thousand, if you're earning fifty thousand, then you would pay one thousand five hundred. You're going to also pay education tax, which is two point two five percent, isn't it? So you take a two point two five percent off your earnings per month. You also will be paying. This is it. No, this is new real estate. You also will be paying national insurance. So you're going to pay NIS. National insurance scheme and ladies and gentlemen you want to pay that if you're self-employed you want to pay that because that is what is going to be your pension at age 65 right and I know a lot of you self-employed you're not disciplined so you're not putting away anything for retirement so just consider the national insurance scheme as your retirement fund part of your retirement fund because it really shouldn't be all of it just a part of it right the NHC is 3% and the education tax is 2.25. Where? It's left turn here. It's 2.25%. So I'm turning left. Where? Down there. I'm turning left. Not at, inside the Texaco gas station. But left up this road. This is Whitehall. This is Whitehall Road. So we're trying to get to Whitehall because we're going to be showing you for sale. So ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying, education, 2.25% of the gross pay monthly. National Housing Trust, 3% of the gross pay monthly. 3% is for self-employed persons. Those of you who are employed, I think you'll pay 2% and the, your employer will match it to that 3% to the government. Now, the National Housing Trust money is a contribution. Just need the glass for you. It's a contribution, remember. So it's your money. What's the good thing about national insurance contribution? One thing is your money. You can start taking it back after seven years. Oh, seven years. Yes. So it's a contribution. It's your money, right? It's not a tax to the government. It's your money. Then, what else? If you do get the loan, you can now, you do, they put it towards your loan every January. So the contribution refund that you have got for that year, they put it towards your loan. Okay. So your loan is being paid down. So your NHT loan has more benefits than one. More benefits into the future. Not just now qualifying for a loan, but also the contribution helps you to pay down the loan. And that's why minus pension is a great Right, and that's because why minus my, finished. Because over the years, as my salary increased and I'm contributing more, the money that they're taking back is more. Right, the money that they're putting onto the loan. Yeah, I put it down on onto the, the principal is more. So, ladies and gentlemen, it cancels down your mortgage. It's a benefit. And also, if you have done any of those, you haven't taken back the contribution, it did not go to your loan. It is there. When you're 65, you cannot go and take all of it. Like a pension. Yeah. Or you cannot floss it. Floss it. <laughs> At 65. Yeah. You know, walk out the shop again. Go on the cruise. <laughs> so, but I would wait until I'm 65 to do that. 
You need to take the benefit now. Right, get a host. Yeah, yeah. get a host. And I should tell you that we will be having some houses coming out in Spanish Town, which is a far away from here. <laughs> Those of you who know Spanish Town, it's on the. Damien, where is it? Tell the people where it is. Well, it's on St. John's Road, off across from Green Acres. It's on St. John's Road, across from Green Acres, so turn left. Turn left, adjacent to um, Frenchman Heights. Right. So, um. Take the right turn down here. Take the right and turn. And then pass the football field on your left. Pass the football field on the left, you make the right turn here. Wow, look at that board house. And look at this container building. Wow. Creative. What's my land taking tiny to a new heights? <laughs> Keep left or right? Left. Keep left. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to get to Atlanta. White. White Hall. Much of this lot we can show you all right ladies and gentlemen so this is a land but not this corner house here I'm going to go up into the cul-de-sac Basically, this is the land the persons at the corner lot they're building. So this is their shed, right? So this is not supposed to be on the land. The land is how many? How much square feet is that? Approximately 4,700 4, 4, 4, square feet. It's narrow in the front and long to the back, ladies and gentlemen. So you will have some excavating to do on the front here because this is actually the entrance for the land to get up onto it. But 
this is actually the lower side here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the owner is motivated to sell. Please give us a call if you want something in the grill in Whitehall. Remember, 876 370 8138, 906 7174. 876 447 4470. Those are the numbers to call if you want this lot, all right? Um, Damien will answer you quicker than me, so call Damien. <laughs> A gentle slope to the back there's a possible view to the sea maybe when you go up a second floor you should be able to look beyond your neighbor and see the, the, the ocean view um, to your north you have a lovely view of the mountains all right so if you really want to be able to overlook Negril town you can definitely consider this property Give us a call. All right, Claudia? Yes, you can. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember, we talk about land banking. So, who's going to do land banking on this one? Be great to yourself, guys, and buy real estate. Remember, nothing like the real estate.